Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here, welcome back to another Brown Dust video. All right guys, it's time. It's time to do my selection for the Jump Start Quest up till day seven. I haven't collected any of it. So I'm going to do it all one shot in one video. Now who am I going to pick? You guys are going to find out in this video. Stay tuned, but first, a message from the sponsor. This video is sponsored by BeautifulHello.com. It's a website that has thousands of beautifully designed clothing to choose from. Pepe Frog hoodie, Anime Girl hoodie, they have it all. And it also has free shipping worldwide. So you're gonna get your clothes no matter where you're from. All right, make sure to insert the relevant codes to get some discounts off. Check it out, links will be in the description below. Alright, so for a bunch of you guys out there who are like, you know, trigger happy, just go ahead and click accept. You don't even know what you need or what you want. Don't do that. Don't be that guy, alright? So if you're not sure of who you actually need in your team, try to do a bit of research. I mean, look into guides. I've already done all my video guides on each of the categories. So yeah, you can go ahead and watch them if you're still unsure. And of course, you can always drop by my Discord channel. Links will be in the description below us around you know so do not rush it if you make the wrong selection i understand that it's quite hard for you not to be excited and go ahead and just oh click select one of these randomly right because it's just they are giving out literally uh eight new plus nine max out mercenaries for free and people just take it like oh it's free what could go wrong right but we don't know if these kind of things will ever come back right this kind of jumpstart quest most likely not because I doubt they will keep giving out free stuff like this. So don't let this opportunity go to waste, you know. Don't don't look at it as a as a oh if I select wrong, it's not a big deal, you know. Like try your best to make the best choices you can. Think carefully, who do you actually need in your team? I mean if you are not really into meta or whatever, you're just for waifus, go ahead, just do it for collection. But you might just saying, you might regret that route later on because once you want to get serious into the game, uh, it's going to be slightly harder. I'm not sure. I've been there before myself, not in this game, in other games, but yeah, we will see how it goes. Okay, enough babbling, so let's go into my selection. So first, day one, alright, so I've already done guide on 5 star warriors. I'm sure plenty of you guys already watched it. For me, it's either going to be Anastasia or Foxy. Alright, so... Everyone else I do not really need because I already have Wilhelmina and Dalvi almost maxed out. Ileana, eh, don't really need her. Already have Christina. I was thinking of Hania though before the rework of this new, what's that name of the new mercenary in Korean server, the sniper girl. They have similar range and everything and that, that unit seems to be better so Hania is not going to be my pick. Sigmund definitely not. Uh, if I pick Foxy, I'm not going to pick Sigmund because they both have similar roles. Jin, I don't see a reason to pick him now because of Larkis, Elijah, specifically for world boss. I'm sticking with what I've done in the review. Anastasia is still the best in my opinion. So that's what I'm going to go for. I do not have any Anastasia in my roster. So this is going to be the first. So we're going to go with Anastasia. Plus 9, maxed out. Easy selection choice. Alright, so next one. Premium scrolls, normal scrolls, epic vital rune, horseshoes. Okay, 4-star mercenary, this is going to be hard, 4-star supporters, right? Now the 4-stars are going to be easy for new players, but for veteran players like me, who do I need right now? Because I already got everyone. I already maxed out my Serendia, Seres, John, Naresa, Sarubia, Kiwik, Vincent at plus 10 already. It's either going to be Elijah, Ebony, or Anais. Uh, I need to check for this one. I actually need to check. Supporter. Alright, so this is my Serendia, 6 stars plus 15. Kiwik, plus 10. Alright, so already plus 10 at 6 stars as well. Ceres, plus 10. Vincent, plus 10. Naresa, plus 9, but already 6 star. Serubia and John, same goes for them as well. So for me, it just makes sense for me to pick one of those. Uh, and then I can use one of these to basically do a fusion. Alright, so a mercenary fusion because you need a plus 9 to do mercenary fusion. So Elijah is 5 stars though, he's awakened 5 stars plus 10. I could pick her up 6 stars right there and just transfer the soul gear away. Or just go with something like Ebony or Anais. I have a feeling Ebony might get a companion soon. 
Anna is maybe in the future, I'm not sure, but she's pretty good in world boss. And for anything that needs this debuff immunity, co-op rate as well. Co-op rate pattern. Gonna go with Ebony for this case. Uh, not gonna regret. I'm just gonna unequip the runes and everything on her. Easy choice as well. Alright, not to say very difficult. Alright, 6 stars Ebony right here. Let's go. So once you have everyone on the list, I guess the choice you make is not that detrimental. Alright, so next one. Day 3! Defender! This is something that a lot of people have been asking me. Which one should I pick? Blah blah blah. I don't know why, but it's so obvious. It's either going to be Cecilia or Kauli. If you do not have either one of those, choice will be obvious. Lacklist, she's pretty good, but you need to you need to be very good in the game to, to set her up in like Guild Wars and things like that. And the problem with it is like, like I mentioned in that video I've done, you know, go check it out if you haven't already. You don't need a plus 9 Lacklist, alright? Plus 9 Lacklist, she's gonna die to everything, regardless. Glacia, again, she's gonna sit in your inventory not doing anything. For me, obvious choice, Kauli. Alright, I'm gonna pick Kauli for two reasons. One, because I do not have her. I mean, I have her at plus two. And two, a bunch of you guys have been asking me, what do I do with a, a new mercenary? If I if I pick them again, what do I do with the spare one? What do I do, Guitar Rock? Help me, please. Help me. Relax, calm down, calm down. Alright, I'm gonna show you guys a secret method. This is actually... A method that only few players know. Alright, here's the tactic. Alright, so go ahead. I'm gonna show you guys. So, Kauli. Look at this. A plus 9 Kauli. Boom. Alright. So, I have two Kaulis, right? One at plus 9. Right here. One at plus 1. Right here. So, what do I do? Two Kaulis. Do I, do I throw away this one? No. You don't. You do a skill transfer. Alright, so this is... For a plus 1 Kauli to go to a plus 9, you're gonna need 2 scrolls, alright? So that is going to be a little bit costly. If you have, I should have left, left this Kauli at plus 0 and, you know, not skill them up and leave them as 2 plus zeros. I made a mistake back then, but I did not, that was quite a while back, I did not expect this jumpstart quest to be here so soon. But anyway, what you do is press on the transfer right here, boom. Alright, easy. And then, you want to go to the Kauli that you just selected, the plus 9, click on her. Okay, so now what do you do, right? So you transfer one of her skill away. Using the skill transfer. I recommend using skill transfer. Do not use diamonds. Don't use diamonds. 1000 diamonds is very expensive. Now who do I need? I have no idea who do I need. Okay, maybe Taylor right here. So now, Kauli plus 8. Taylor plus 11. I will transfer one skill from the new, from the newly acquired Kauli plus 9. So now I will reduce it. Use this skill transfer. Boom! Easiest transfer of my life! Alright, so what do we do now? You have this plus 1 Kauli, remember? Now we transfer the plus 1 Kauli, right here, to that plus 8 Kauli. It's, it's very easy. Obviously, you don't have to transfer uh, to a specific unit, right? So right now, I do not have to transfer to Kauli. I can transfer this plus one to Taylor again, for example, all right? Because I already have plus one. But if you have a plus zero, you need to skill her up. Do you guys understand? Understand, right? All right, I'm going to show you guys. Don't do the mistake, all right? So think carefully who you want to transfer. So right now, I don't really need uh, to transfer to this Kauli because that's bad. I'm just going to transfer to this tailor, alright, so that I do not uh, waste more scroll transfer. So right, if I use this method, I only use two skill transfer scroll. If I go ahead and do this dumb shit method, I transfer to this Kauli, so now I have a plus zero Kauli, now that Kauli is plus nine, and then I need to transfer that plus nine Kauli to another unit, I'm going to waste one more scroll, right? So don't do that, that's idiotic, I almost did that just now. I almost did that and somebody is going to laugh at me in the comment section. Don't do that, alright? So instead, do something like this. Do it to an another mercenary that you have. So waste one scroll, no problem. Boom! Easiest method of your life. Okay, so now, with that last Kauli that you have, alright, you can skill up. 
So to skill up, you need to unlock this stupid cowlie that is locked. Unlock it, skill up, press this cowlie. Oh no, the runes are there. Don't do that. Unequip the freaking runes. Unequip, remove, boop, remove, boop. Unequip the stupid soul gear as well. Don't go ahead and, and skill them up without removing all of this, alright? Or else you're wasting all your resources away. Alright, check everything. Is there companions attached to her? Check as well. Make sure like there's nothing. Alright, there's nothing. There's nothing. No no Kalia. No Kalia, nothing. So if there's companions, make sure you remove it as well. Or else you're gonna regret it for the rest of your life. Do not do that. Alright, so now everything equipped, we are done. We're gonna do this. Skill up, zoop, zoop. Okay, so now you have a plus nine cowley easiest skill up of my life make sure you have the goal make sure you have 30,000 gold all right there you go plus nine cowley okay so this is how you do it um if you have spam mercenaries that you select from the jumpstart quest and then you have one plus zero laying around this is the best method to do it okay so don't repeat the mistake that i almost did number one is randomly transferring your your skill away make sure you actually need that mercenary all right, number two, unequip every single thing. Unequip the soul gear, the companions, or else it will all disappear. Remember, it's all going to poof, and then you're gonna cry like a baby. Make sure that doesn't happen to you. Okay, so I'm gonna equip the soul gear back. Uh, hopefully, everything's still there, yes. So now I have a better cowley. So that's how you do it. Obviously, the awakening crystals and whatever, those will go to waste, but it is what it is, right? When you get free units, so that's the best way that you go about it. So, a lot of you guys have been asking me, should I use diamonds? Do not use diamonds. Don't do it. 1,000 diamond for one skill is... Eh, it's not worth it. Don't do it, guys. Don't do it. Alright, so always use scrolls. There's no excuse for you to use diamonds. I'm not sure. I think majority of you guys are new. Which is why you are asking in the comments, Oh, should I use the 1000? Don't do it! Don't use diamonds! Alright, use only 5 star skill transfer scroll. Okay, if you do not have 5 star skill transfer scroll, wait for events, alright? There's always events giving them out. Like, there's this event right now, literally going on right now. Jack O'Lantern event. Look at this. 30 times, 5 star skill transfer scroll. It's right there. Don't use your diamonds. Don't waste your diamonds, all right? If you do not have any spare skill transfer scroll right now, wait for the next event. There's always going to be plenty of events with 5-star skill transfer scroll. They are very common, all right? 5-star skill transfer scroll is super, super common compared to 4-stars skill transfer scroll. Uh, always use the scrolls. Don't rush it. Just wait for the next event that have this skill transfer scroll. Alright, so if you have 1k diamond less because you can't and then you won't be able to pull your, your legend companion or whatever, it's not my fault man, it's your own fault. Don't rush, never rush things, always make sure you do your research. Alright, continue on with my day 4. Okay, so day 4, this is going to be a little bit complicated for me as well because I already have most of these. So, Magician. I've mentioned already, Hell, Chalkle, Charlotte, those are the ones you should pay priority. Zarka, Esther, second priority. Again, uh, for me, I already have Chalkle maxed out. I already have, uh, let's see. The only one that I do not have maxed out might be Dr. Logic. Let me check. Alright, let's go to Mages. Okay, there. Chalkle maxed out. Hell maxed out. Uh, Charlotte is 5 stars. But I don't think I'll be selecting. Zarka is plus 10, 5 stars as well. Nayus is plus 9, 5 stars. Lia is plus 9. Carl is plus... Esther is plus 9. The only fellow that's not plus 9 is Dr. Logic. And Magnus! Oh wait. Never mind. Boop. Plus 9. Easiest plus 9 of my life. That makes Dr. Logic then! Easiest choice of my... Oh, never mind. Plus 9. Okay, now that's hard then. That is a hard choice. Obviously, it's going to be one of these few because, uh, because, ah, uh, why, why is there no Lucrezia right there? If, if only Lucrezia was one of the choice, it would be an obvious one. Okay, so, 
I guess... Uh, I'm going to save a bit of rank up stars anyway because you are getting them at 6 stars. Who do I use more? Zarkar and Charlotte. Uh, I definitely use both of them more. I think Charlotte. Yeah, we're going to go with Charlotte. So let's go. Charlotte, I will select you. Zoop. Alright, I'm just basically saving myself the soul gears and stuff. So again, again, like I mentioned before, don't make the mistake. Alright, make sure you know you have two Charlotte right now. So the first Charlotte, unequip all the runes. Remove, remove all of these. Alright, so what do you do with four stars? Spare four stars plus nine. So you can do a Merc Combine, alright? So you can do the Merc Combine, you just need to make sure that they are unlocked, I think. Why is she not appearing here? Is it because she's locked? Yeah, let me unlock her. Plus 9. Yeah, once you unlock, she will appear there. So make sure you can actually do that for 4 stars. Okay, if you have a spare, go ahead and do a Merc Combine. Mostly I will do that later. So we're going to have a look. So now, these 6 stars Charlotte right here, that I just obtained. Alright, we're gonna give her the, all these soul gears, make her the plus 10 version of herself. Zoop. Now that I have, I am at plus 10, I can equip better runes. Yeah, she's gonna need a percentage. It's so obvious, like for this, like if you're not sure, look at this percentage. I can always compare. Look at that, that's going to add much more attack. Of course, sacrificing the crit rate. I will farm for better runes then. Uh, percentage runes. Holy these runes suck. Okay, so moving on. Again, easy choice. Alright, day 5. Day 5. Okay, supporter. This is going to be obvious for me. Because I'm not going to pick Michaela. Alright, so if I pick Michaela, you know why I'm, am I not going to pick Michaela? Because right now, my Michaela is plus 4. Alright, that's going to cost a lot of skill transfer scroll. I'm not going to do that. You got to manage your resource carefully. So for me, the obvious choice, Andolin, I'm not going to do that as well, plus 6 already. Like, more than halfway there, just don't do that, alright? Just don't do that. It's either going to be Mary, or Tammy's for me, alright? I'm not going to use either one of them. I was thinking of Helena earlier, but I already have Helena at plus 2. So again, that's going to consume quite a lot of my scrolls. I will not be doing that. Obvious choice, I think it's going to be Mary. It sucks though, because I would rather pick uh, Helena. But Laura is there as well, hmm. Floria? Nah, not gonna go Floria. Holy shit, she's so bad. She is so bad. Is anyone going to pick her for waifu reasons? Like, why would you choose her as a waifu? Because literally everyone here is a waifu. Like, all 10 of these mercenaries are waifus, right? Would you pick Floria as your waifu? Like, I don't think so. Like, anyone actually picking Floria, let me know in the comments below because I'm just curious, you know? But seriously, everyone here is waifu anyways. All these are female characters. Uh... You're not going to go wrong with either one of them. For me, it's either going to be Laura or Mary. Alright, you know what? I am going to go with... Do I pick Tammy's? Nah. Nah, I'm not going to pick Tammy's. I mean, she's good for grand deck or whatever if you want to make super tanky teams. But no, definitely not. Okay, so I'm going to go for Mary. I have a feeling Mary is the next one to basically uh, get companions because she's one of the oldest mercenary on this list. Alright, so Mary, obvious choice. Day 6, 4 Star Warrior. This one is going to be easy as well, because for me, I already have almost all of this. Again, I need to check again. For 4 stars, it's going to be much more of a... Uh... Okay, if I'm not mistaken, Kana is the only one that I do not have at plus 9. So, let's go. Let's have a look. Because for me, it's going to be based off... How am I going to experiment them? So Yunrang is right there, 6 stars. Zakan is there, Vaila is there, Lian, Lian is there. Rydal, already plus 11. Alch already maxed out. Koret is there. Orion is there. So the only one is Kana, she's at plus 8. Yeah, she's at plus 8, so she's the obvious choice. Just gonna go with Kana. But of course, again, I still stand by what I say in the guide. Don't pick for Kana if you're new. She's actually the one of the worst one in this list, alright? So go ahead and watch that video, I'll try to link it as well. I'm gonna pick Kana because I already have all of the remaining ones. Day 7! Boom! 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 4 star defender! Alright, so again, it's going to be easier for some people, going to be harder for some people depending. So, the one that I'm most 
far away from, let me check. I just need to check from my list. Alright, already have Rene, Acha already there, Grace already there, Grosa Britain is there. Who else do I not have? Denarisa, I have Denarisa, BDMN, Iris. Okay, so the one that I have the least amount of skill up is Martina. So obviously my choice. She's one of the worst one actually in the list. If you not if you do not have everyone else, but for me, because she's my lowest skilled one, makes sense for me to go for her. Zoop. Easiest selection of my life. Alright, with that being said, I'm done up till day 7. The last one! Legendary! Let's go! Alright, this is going to be easy. Of obviously, right? Like, how can you not pick Rafitia? How can you not pick Rafitia? Like, it's so obvious. Alright, there. Done. I'm done with all my jumpstart quests. Alright, so hopefully, after watching this video again, maybe it will help you guys decide better. Hopefully, I'm not too late in posting this. I know some people are going to cry in the comment section. Oh, you should have posted this earlier, blah, blah, blah. It's not my fault, man. <laughs> There's 13 days left. You should have waited. You know I'm going to post videos like this. Just got to wait for it. All right, so again, let me know of your choices in the comment section below. Do you guys regret it or do you have no regrets at all? So yeah, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Give this video a like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Good. Bye. Never did I dream a life without your love.